It had been almost two long years since I played Seven Days to Die. Oh, there's multi- Oh, the zombies look f***ing sick now! <laughs> Holy shit, look how good this is! This looks good, man! And for the most part, I had to relearn everything I knew about the game. This is a mistake! This was a mistake! We got to find some wood. Do we just punch a tree? Is that how it works? I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe pick it up off the ground, maybe? I gotta remember how to play. In my previous Seven Days to Die series, I always had a pretty large group around me to help me survive. I had someone that would build the base for me and set up traps for the zombies to die, while I would go out and look for weapons and do some missions, as well as look for gold and diamonds and all that good stuff. And that formula worked to perfection, because as you know, in my previous series, I never really failed. But in this series, not only do I have to relearn the game, I'm going to be doing it by myself. We're going to be building close to Sarah. Sarah's already got a base, so we're going to build something nearish by. Eh, 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 eh. This is going to give me wood. Boom! I knew it. I'm good at this game. There we go. We're progressing. We're progressing. For those of you that have never played Seven Days to Die, the game lives up to its title, because you see, every seven days in-game is a horde night, a blood moon, when zombies become crazed beasts that want nothing but to destroy you and your base. So the most important thing about this game is finding a base or building a base and defending it, like a tower defense. Ooh, if I, ooh there's a house. Ooh, could this be my house? The house was a decent size, and just like every other house in seven days, it was infested and overrun by zombies, so the very first thing I had to do was go through the entire house, flush out all the zombies, and kill them one by one. Yeah, wanna go to fucking war? We go to fucking war. We go to war right now. Right now. Come on. Come on, come on. Around the table, around the table. Hey! Hey! Yeah, that's right, you fucking zombie scumbag. Get to the ground. Get to the fucking ground. Bitch. I made my presence known, I've dominated. Killing zombies wasn't too hard as long as you stayed calm and collected. That's like a little fucking dog house. There's gotta be something here for me. Oh my god, that fucking snake! Get it back! Snakes are not zombies. Fuck me! I, I saw a box down here, I swear to god I did. Look at this little. <gasps> we found a safe! We found a safe! I was quite happy with the house. There were some items inside, including the safe that could potentially hold guns, but also medicine and food, which was really important and key to my survival. Overall, not a bad start. There we go. Now we got seven days to build a base that can survive Horde Night. Okay, first things first. Let's survey the house here. So it's a three, it's a two-story house, but you've got the basement underneath, so it's technically three stories. The plan was pretty simple. The basement level of the house already had stone walls. So I decided that would be the heart of the base, and I would build from in there outwards. Again, it was a very simple plan, but I had to keep it simple. This was my very first solo base, and I knew how easily things could go wrong. Let's get rid of these spikes. We want the front door to be here. Let's block in the front door here. Bring that in, upgrade this. I also want to block in these windows. We don't want the windows either. We want to get rid of all the all the other exits. We got to reinforce, we got to build. Now at the moment we're doing like cosmetic stuff. Well, it's not really cosmetic, it's... We need to set up the house, the layout of the house before we start actually like beefing it up defensively. Everything I was doing in the game when it came to building, killing zombies, crafting, everything I was doing was earning me XP and as I leveled up, I was acquiring skill points, and I could invest those skill points into skills that would make me better at the game. Reduce melee and tool stamina usage by 8%, and power attacks by 15%. That's probably good, right? Cha-ching! Dude, oh, we got to trade a 300 meters away from our base? This is the base! We picked a great location. Another great way to get experience points, as well as some tokens while you're at it, was to do some quests. You can get quests from the trader, and that's exactly what I did. Oh, we got a fetch quest, we got a tier 1 fetch, clear zombies, buried supplies. <sighs> dig in a hole, dig in a hole. Oh, there it is, there it is! Oh, fuck yeah. 
With that quest complete, I now had some tokens in my pocket. I also sold some junk in my inventory to get even more tokens. And this allowed me to buy myself a gun and some ammo. Let's buy ourselves a pistol. And let's buy some ammo. Let's buy... Let's buy 28 bullets. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, can we upgrade this? Okay, we need some metal and shit. God damn it, man. That's not good enough. That's what we need. An iron pickaxe. We need to, we need to learn this. We need to learn minor 69er. My very first night was coming to an end, and I don't know if I was doing a great job, but I was definitely doing a job. Better get rid of all the exposure. Make sure that we're nice and boxed in. Isn't that better already? See, yeah, we're slowly improving the base design. It's a slow process. Remember, we've got seven days. We've got seven days to make this base fortified. Okay, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. All right, so we've... Plugged up all the holes on the bottom level, which is very nice to see. Now we need to get rid of the windows on the second floor. So this all has to go. One, two. Eventually we will clear this entire house up until it's nothing but a, a battle zone. At the moment, it looks like a home. And we're slowly getting rid of everything. We've got four points. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, there we are. Minus 69er. Okay. You know what? Our house is coming together pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy for the progress we've made. While out gathering materials, I noticed that there was a barn right next to my base. There could be some goodies in there. Maybe some, uh, some tools. Guys, we've got a fucking barn. <laughs> shit. Oh my God. Give me a fucking heart attack, you piece of shit. Get over here. Get in here. Come here. Fuck you up, you yeah. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa. Live it on a prayer. A pipe bomb. Woo! A wood splitter mod. An ergonomic grip. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Woo! That's exactly what I wanted. Fantastic. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. Speaking of which... Open the fucking door! I had a visitor, Jugs, who wanted to move in with me and I allowed him. Now I know this is a solo run, but trust me, he, he turns out to be more than useless. In fact, his goal wasn't even to survive in this base or even help me build it. He had a much more sinister plan, but he wasn't my focus. I had to focus on leveling up and getting this base ready for the Blood Moon. It's got, good, it's got, good, it's got decent range. It's got decent range of spear, I like it. Day 2 consisted of me looting buildings, finding materials, as well as doing another quest for the trader. Hey, a chicken! Come here, chicken! But I hit a bit of a wall. I needed to figure out how to make metal. If I was going to make this base defendable, metal was essential. Let's have a look here. So we need a uh, forge. We, stone's easy. Clay, we've got leather. We've got one leather. Oh, shit. I looked around for quite a while for an animal to harvest leather. I could not find one to save my life. So I... This is a this is a stick up. I want some leather right now, right now. Okay, okay, I give you some. Give me a short metal pipe right now, right now. Uh, um, I don't have a short metal pipe. Get back in there, son. Get back in that fucking doorway. And fucking. Ar Next time, lock the door. We turn it on. Yep, that's gonna make some iron for us. Fuck yeah. Oh boy. Now we're cooking. I should probably do the same thing with this then. Split that up. We are we are vastly improved where we were before. This is this is huge. This is a huge addition to the base. We got plenty of iron. The iron's growing considerably. Iron but okay, this is gonna be handy. This is like this is defense stuff. We need this. I'll be making friends, man. Everyone thinks that we're a cult now. No, we're not a fucking cult! We're not a fucking cult. You gotta stop with this fucking cult shit, dude. We're not a fucking cult. We're not a cult. I'm a leader here, and this ain't no fucking cult. No, we're a cult. No, we're not. It's now three different groups now think that we're a cult. No, we we're are not. Cult verse. Stop spreading that we're we a fuck. Destroy and repent the sinners. 
We will repent the sinners. Fuck, there's a wall there. Uh, we will repent the sinners. What a fucking nut. We're gonna have so much iron, we're not gonna know what to do with it. With the ability to melt down metals, and now that I had a pickaxe, progression was beginning to speed up. So I wanna get the iron bars, and what I wanna do is, I wanna have... So if they, if they do get through here, I wanna have this place iron, ironed up, like with the bars and shit. So, I think what we'll do is we'll do this. Put that there. And we'll put that up to the roof, yeah? We'll have like an iron door, like right here. Uh, that way we can, you know, it's like a like final stand sort of situation here. Stone and clay. We want to replace all the wood in the house with stone. That's what we want to do. I wonder why that's happening. I'm having trouble with that. What's that, mate? This looks really good. Yeah, I know. I'm impressed. And I'm doing a good job, aren't I? I told you, I've done it's this. Kind of looking. It is kind of looking like it's kind of looking like a cult area as well. <sighs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, mate, sure. You know, I'm just gonna go along with his craziness, man. He's obviously delusional. Just let him go. Oh my god. This is actually insane. He doesn't... He's so determined. We've done so much already. Yeah, I thought we were a great team. You this guy saying we've done so much, this fucking guy? <laughs> he hasn't done anything. Yeah, that's a problem for sure. This is definitely a- this is a weak point right here. While I was continuing to fortify the base, I could hear Jugs smashing rocks. I assumed that he was also fortifying the base. I assumed wrong. Fantastic. It's almost like we know what we're doing over here, huh? I'll give you my pickaxe if you want to use it. Come get yeah, the I could use you on that. Yeah, yeah, me a long time yeah, to do this. yeah. Come, come get me the. Down to, uh... Just come down to the dungeon. Come down to the dungeon. I'm already down there. Come down. No, like down, down the dungeon. I've made an extra. A what? You made what? Just come down. Where the crosses are, follow the crosses, and you'll find the lair. <sighs> What the fuck? This what? is where we're gonna torture the sinners. Oh my god, dude. There, fine. Here, there's your fucking pickaxe. So fucking nut. Honestly, he's not, he's not doing anything to help us right now. He's making a fucking dungeon instead of fortifying. I, I might as well be doing this by myself, to be honest with you. Might as well be doing this by ourselves. As time went on, a rift began to develop between me and Jugs. And we began to turn on each other. You listen to me, Roy. When these zombies come through the walls, your little pre-built fucking fairy tale fortress, right? I'm gonna be the last man standing down in this little dungeon, so... Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's, let's, okay, let's make a deal then. You you can hide there during Horde Night and I'll hide in my little cage. Deal? Sounds good. Yeah, okay, good. Get, get the fuck out of my- get out of my- get out of my safe zone. This is my- this is my safe zone. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Look at this. Get the fuck out. embarrassment. Get the fuck out. Get out. You're gonna, you're gonna come crying to me during the night, I know it. I'm calling it right now. Let me in, let me in. That's exactly what's gonna happen. The only thing I'm gonna be doing is coming up here and looting your body when the zombies have destroyed your fucking get bed. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Go dig your hole. Okay, go, go, go dig your little fucking dungeon, alright? And leave me the fuck alone, you and your brotherhood. You be building your little fucking shed, and I've been making friends. Okay. Hey, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, mate. Got some buildings here, we can get some shelter while the rain's pouring. Okay. I'm gonna go to this house right here. I'm thirsty. Fucking hell. Is this someone's base? Anyone home? Maybe it's not someone's base? I guess it's not. Alright. I got a license to go in, don't I? Okay. Bit weird. What the fuck, dude? I have no idea who that is. They're just standing there watching me. What the 
fuck in. Okay, all right. We all know there's going to be a secret room. And in that secret room is going to be some goodies. And there's going to be a bunch of zombies in there, right? Is this, the, is this where it is? In here? Are you in here? Yeah, there they are. I hope, I hope we, find, we might find some ammo in here. You never know. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's fucking dope, man. Oh, shit. Dude, that's a fuck. That's so cool. It's like a fucking fallout shelter. Stay down. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, they're all dead. Look at this. Look at. Oh boy. Lock um lock pick. Lock pick, lock pick. How do I do this? Uh lock pick. Oh baby! Come on, give me something. Give me something good. Give me a shotgun. Get me a shotgun. Give me a shotgun. Give me a shotgun. Please, please, please. What's in, what's in, what's in here? Yes! Okay. That's good. That's good. These are good. And these are good. I think we're pretty secure right now. Like, I feel like this will be enough for, for night 21. You know? I, I, I feel that. I really do. I really do. I think we can focus more on, like, just leveling now and, and, and questing. I think this will hold up. Let's do this fucking quest, boys. Okay, we're going this way. 1,200 meters. At the moment, my, my goal is just to survive this one horde night. Obviously, the design will change between night 21 and night 28, okay? We, we will advance. While making my way to the quest, I actually started looting up buildings along the way. And I looted this one building that, as fate would have it, would completely change the chances of me surviving the Blood Moon. Looks like we've, we've searched everything. More shotgun. Damn, man. Okay. Anyone else? Open up. Oh god, he's he's coming for more. Fuck you. There's something juicy up here, I feel it. I feel like we're close to something. We are close to something. Oh, this looks fucked. Run! Oh! You dead? You're dead. I don't know how you... Oh fuck. Military guy. Military guy. The okay. oh, fuck? Come on. Come get some. Come get some. This is where all the loot is, huh? I can see. Loot everywhere. I chose to believe and I was fucking scammed. Go figure. Go figure. Oh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. What is this? What is this? Oh, please tell me something like that's in this bag. A fucking blunderbuss? Are you fucking kidding me? You're, oh, you've got to be joking. Out of all the things it could have given me, it gave... What is this? Oh. 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 It's real gold! It's fucking silver! Holy shit! We've missed the fucking mother load, boys! We did it! We won the game! We won the game! 
Silver, gold, and particularly diamonds are worth so much tokens in Seven Days to Die. Trading them would easily allow me to afford a shotgun, which could potentially be a game changer when it comes to defending the base. So I beelined it straight towards the trader. I, I didn't want to get robbed. I didn't want to risk that. So I didn't want to fuck around and spend time running around with diamonds in my pocket. I headed straight to the trader. I want to get rid of these diamonds as soon as possible. Sell. Sell that. Sell the gold. All right, double barrel shotgun. ka -ching. All right, we're home. Yep, 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 yep. Just everything how I wanted it. Uh, Jugs is building something down there. We'll leave him to that. Where the fuck have you been? Mate, I have been, I've been making fucking plays, dude, honestly. Making fucking plays. I was on a high, but then I soon realized that I gave my pickaxe to Jugs, and in the last hour, he had not harvested one iron. Hey, have you been gathering any iron with that pickaxe at all, or just been using it as, to make a fucking hole? Uh, the latter. So I found repair kit, so I've been able to repair it. So you've contributed nothing to the progression of this defense. What the hell would I mine iron, right, when I need to build my hole? Okay. Well, the defense is the fact that when your defense goes to shit, you've got somewhere to dude, rely on. Dude, we need iron. Iron's very... Yeah. We should have so Sounds much like iron, dude. Here. Give me my pickaxe back. I want my, I want my pickaxe back. I want to go to work. Give me my fucking... Give me my axe. No, I'm you, not finished. Dude, I, dude, your hole's big enough, okay? Your hole... Dude, you got to stop. This, this has to stop. Let me just round it off, and then I'm done. Dude, how long is it going to take you to round it off? we got one day, dude. One yeah, day. Up. You've been out, Ron. Your little fucking little, you know, little twiddly twaddly adventures. Adventures, oh, dude. I'm working so hard, hard to survive. Work at home. Dude, you are so. Just... I've been hard at work. You know, here's the thing. When the zombies come in here and fuck up your face, I'm gonna laugh about it. All right, I'm gonna They're laugh. Not gonna come in here. Oh, they've dude, got to you... get through. They got to get through fifty feet of stone. Okay. And down. All right. They got to get through four layers All right. of brick. All right. All right. No problem. Good luck with that. Thanks. That's Love you too. Fucking guy. What in God's name do you think? Stop right now! No, Stop. no, no! You can Stop. put it. You can put as much crosses as you want in your fucking area of the house, but in my area, we are taking them down. Okay, that's what we're doing. How fucking dare you? He say your fucking portion of the house, mate. I'm not going down in your hole and telling you what you can do and can't do in your fucking hole. Build okay. Brick. No, you're not building with fucking brick, mate. You are, dude. If you put a brick fucking thing down, I'm gonna blast your face right off. Okay? Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you, you do it. To me. You listen to me. No, you listen to me. You can you can do your little cult thing right. if you want. I don't give a shit. Do your cult in your area. In your area. It's all you're we need to gonna, do. You're gonna, you're gonna be begging me to come into my little hole. I will never want to be in your fucking hole. You understand that? I don't want to be in your hole. If your hole was the last hole on earth, I wouldn't want to be in there. Okay? So back the fuck up. Take your cult. And fuck out of my area. Okay? Get the fuck out. Right now. Now what we need is forged iron. 60? Oh shit. Now, let's put these spikes down. Where are we gonna put them though? Let's see. Um, we're obviously here outside the door is gonna be fucking beautiful. Uh, let's twist this around like that. Maybe, baby. I'll have you. We don't want to, we don't want it too Trappy in here because you can hurt yourself on this shit. Um, so that, uh, shit like this, this is fine. Like that, that, that'll do the job, kinda. Uh, I think. Yeah, 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 it'll be fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but it'll do some damage. It'll do some damage. Iron spikes. We're gonna put in here. Yeah, this is good. It's gonna be like a 
It's gonna be the this is the last stand, man. If they get in here, we'll be we'll be good. We'll be good. Wait, wait, what are you doing? What were you doing? What the fuck are you doing, dude? Why are you digging a hole in the fucking door? Jugs? What the fuck? Yeah. Why have you dug a hole at my front door? Dude, you're digging multiple holes. What the fuck are you? What is this? Dude, we. Dude, you know Horde Knight's in like 10 minutes, right? Why are you fucking around with this? Oh my god. I was building a boat. Are you fucking. Dude, you're trying to fuck me over. Okay. Alright. Okay. We need, can, can, can we get dirt so we can fill it's that in? We need, trap the zombies. We, need dirt. we can't get dirt. How the fuck are we going to yeah, fill this in? How do we fill this in? Shut up, dude. You, you're gonna you're gonna get me killed. I can't believe you've done this. I can't. I cannot believe you've done this. It's a moat. It's a strategic moat. Dude, you are a you fucking scumbag. I know exactly what you're trying to do, Jugs. I know exactly what you're trying to do. Fuck. I wish you really. I really wish you'd appreciate me more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, you have created a hole for the zombies to crawl into and try to get to me. So now the time I should have been spending, you know, fortifying, I'm now covering your ship. Don't care so much about this one. This is the problem here. Okay. Aha! Aha! Time was running out, so I put myself into top gear and I tried as hard as I could to prepare for the horde. Okay. It's about to start. It's about to fuck. It's about to start, dude. It's about to fucking start. It's about to happen. Fuck. This is last minute renovation. Dude, it's been two years for one. Uh, I haven't done this in two years. Alright. Okay, alright, um. Okay, uh, it's been. Since 2018, have not done a proper horde night. Uh, we're about to do it right now. I've done this pretty much all by myself. Uh, it's not the best base design, um, but here's to good luck. Hopefully we can survive and build from this. Maybe tonight could be the foundation of what's going to be a good base at some point in time. Uh, cheers, everybody. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, I think we're prepared. I think we're prepared. I'm pretty sure. Oh shit, it's time but Yep. Calm down, calm down, stay calm. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. I don't know where they're breaking in from, it's somewhere over here though. Let's check upstairs, get a different angle on these guys. Oh! Shit! Alright, I found where the entry point is. Fuck out of here! Shit! Fuck! How's it going up there, bro? It's doing great. It's doing, it's doing great, bro. Come on, bitches! 
Oh, I just threw them all. Fuck. Grab them, grab them, grab them. Where are they? Fuckers. I'm fine, dude. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my god. Alright. Reload, reload, reload. A fucking rush. Fuck. Fucking ground, bitch. Oh, shit. I'm sure I missed that, but okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. What are you doing? I'm dying! Okay, it's okay, I've died in, I died in the room, I died in the room, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Dude, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, spawn, 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 spawn. Spawn, 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 spawn. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're back, we're back in this, we're back in this bad boy. Oh, the fire worked. My fucking property. This is my base. This is my fucking base. Get out of here. All right, I'm here. I'm here to save the day. <sighs> oh, that was easy. Nice. Told you my base would work. How you doing? Oh, this ain't that. This ain't that bad. You got any spare ammo? No. Okay, they didn't, they didn't attack this side at all. They didn't dig. 
Um, it might be a little bit too early for digging zombies, maybe. Uh, this is a big part of the damage was the front door. Uh, not too bad. Though. I'm going to box this in eventually anyway. Uh, with higher tier wall. So that shouldn't be a problem to fix all that. Here as well was the weak spot. Uh, but again, very minimal damage. Very minimal. Uh, I'm very happy that the bunker survived in pretty much perfect condition. Uh, that lays down a pretty good foundation. Now we can just focus on expanding outwards and, and you know getting this whole house into um into good shape not bad we survived our first horde 